Welcome back to DMOP Garage. We're back on the Transit, the Mark 7, and we are putting on today one of these sun visors. This one's from the UK, and it's from, I think, Kappa Auto Industries. I think it's got it written on the side here. It's a fairly solid, still got the uh, plastic on it. Yeah, Kappa Auto Industries. And it's pretty thick. It's uh, probably four mil thick acrylic, and it's got all the mounting brackets. Unfortunately, it didn't come with any instructions, but I kind of figure I know what I'm doing. So, but we are going to not do what they say because there's the mounting screws, and you can see there <laughs> they've given us self tappers, and you're basically supposed to bolt these brackets through the plastic here straight into the metal and that's supposed to hold that ginormous thing and i'm like yeah you do over 100 k's an hour which this one does <laughs> that's gonna play rip off with those little so we're gonna do some modificating i've already i'll just show you what's going on here's one of the the brackets and there's a problem with the bracket straight away and i'll show you exactly what the problem is you've got now I've kind of worked out just by that mark it's going to mount in this position here like so. So they give you three three holes there, two holes there. The problem is if you go and rest that where it's got to go, the three holes are going to go straight through the plastic trim into the metal, which is fine. But these two here go nowhere. Those two there behind here is completely hollow. So they're not long enough. This part of the bracket this part of the bracket here is actually not long enough. So I'll show you what we're going to do. We're going to do some modifying to the brackets. And we're going to attach this with riv nuts too. Uh, I'm not going to use those things. You can see what I've done here already. So I've trimmed off the plastic. And you'll see exactly what the problem is. So when this guy sits like that, you can see those two holes go absolutely nowhere. They go into no man's land there. So that bracket needs to be extended another probably 15 20 mil and then we'll have to obviously re-drill the holes and then we are going to go straight through the middle here and here with a riv nut so i'm planning on right there and right there that's where our riv nuts are going to go so they're going to get bolted to the frame and then the ones from the top that are going to go in the plastic here well those three can just go straight in that is the plan we're going to go and take these brackets down to the shed and weld up some extra long sections on the bottom here so we can get that because yeah I, that's just not gonna unfortunately this trim has been sick of flexed on because the the clips are absolutely useless i bought another set off ebay and they didn't work they just busted straight away putting it in uh so i've got the whole thing sick of flexed in so i'm going to leave it i'm not going to try and pull it out i think we'll just do everything with this in position okay let's uh take the brackets down to the shed and get these things modified okay so we're on the bench we've got them both you can see the extra little piece that i've put in and i've welded it on both sides v prep the two pieces so that you know you've got good penetration because once we grind this back we don't want a weak joint so in, really important to v prep it either side so we'll just grind these back now and then we can re-drill our holes and repaint it and we're good to go. Get the grinder onto it. Right, we'll take this up and uh, mark where our holes have to go and then bring it back down. We have our riv nut kit in the house and we're going to use a stainless steel, um, that's an M8 and that would work quite nicely. So what we're going to do is just make a couple of pilot hole drill holes first and we can get that installed with our new gun which is over here. That's the gun here. Yeah, this should work pretty pretty easily. Well, let's get this sucker set up. So we had some clearance issues internally, so we've gone with an M5 stainless steel riv nut instead, which I think will be strong enough. 
and you can see that they just pop in like so and then we could bolt them in so we've got our little tool set up and there's our rib nut basically just pop it in like so and just squeeze this and I'll probably need two hands so I'll just put you guys down for a sec and get this part done there you go you can see we've got the two m5s they're solid as a rock and then we can come in from the front now and drill the other three holes and then bolt this bracket in and she ain't gonna be moving anyway that's the way to do it okay let's keep going right, so we've got uh, some stainless steel bolt and we're going to put some blue Loctite on them uh, just some of this thread locker here just so they don't rattle loose but that's uh, I'm just using these ones with a wide head on them and they're stainless steel so they're not going to rust so yeah let's get these bolted in and uh, we'll, I'll show you how we do the the top brackets with a thread locker on that Make sure they're nice and tight. And then now we're going to come in through the top using these. Now these ones are self-drilling. I'm not using the ones they give you. They're self-drilling and they're galvanized so they're not gonna rust. And we're just gonna basically come in from above using our, our little tool. Probably put a little bit of thread locker on those as well. Won't hurt. First off, you've got to put the plastic things on. So we've just got our little plastic rings. They go on top of the bolt like so. Pop a bit more of that in there. Right. Then we've got these little caps and they just click on top. Like so. Couple more. Okay, so that part's done. You can see if you shut the door, that's what you're going to see from the outside. So now we can grab our sun visor and try and bolt it on with one person. That's going to be fun. Let's give it a go. Okay, guys, so we've got our helper, Sebastian, and we're going to, I'm going to pass it to him, and then we can quickly put a bolt in either side, and then I can nip it all up. So let's see how we go. All right, so... You're gonna grab that for me. You got it? Lift it up there, that's it. Okay, hang on. Okay, that's it, one's in. I can come around your side now. Okay, I'll grab it and you can hop down the ladder. Off you go, down. Just watch yourself. Make sure I don't get myself Ah, uh, you'll be fine. Cheers, buddy, thanks for that. You can go back inside can now. I have a high five. High five. Yo. All right, and Dad can do the rest. Okay, so next thing I've just gone over with a couple of uh, the socket and the screwdriver and just tightened up all these along the top because they were actually a bit loose. So just be careful with that. Make sure they're tight. I mean, they've got nylon nuts on them, so they probably should be okay. Just show you the underneath. If you look, yeah, of course it's right in the sun, right? Uh, you can see just inside here. Now they're bolted in, just like that probably the worst angle ever with the sun yeah, we'll try from that way there you go you can probably see in through here and through in there as well but that's pretty much it uh, from inside the driver's seat you've got you know pretty good shade probably obviously when you've got that like so uh, I think that'll that'll do the job nicely but with, they give us a couple of plastic little cups now just to cover up all the bolts so you're not looking at bolts while you're driving because that'll drive me crazy so we can put those little covers on uh, these ones here have just got little caps that go over the top on those we'll get those put on and i'll bring you back in there we go so we've got the caps clipped onto the top and also underneath we have the little rubber you probably see from inside here you can see they give you a little rubber caps to go over the top of the bolt so you're not looking at bolts from underneath which is kind of a, a good finishing touch 
So last thing we've got to do is take off the protective layer. And that's the Okay, so we are done. Probably the worst light to be filming in, sorry about that. Uh, that's probably better. Yeah. It's got a little bit of plastic residue still on there. Let's get that off. Static. Yeah, I don't think we need this. Point of reckon, take, yeah, get the logo off. We don't want logos on here. There we go, that's better. All right. Well, that's a lot nicer. And I've also got the, the side deflectors that go on the passenger and driver's door. We'll get those stuck on as well. And then we can call it good and move on to the other modifications that we're going to do soon. Yeah, I reckon that'll do it for this episode. Thanks, guys. And we'll catch you in another transit one down the track. Yoop.